I'm proud of being a Singaporean because the government upholds the principles of meritocracy. A citizen's race, religion, language, caste or gender doesn't count. As a result, my family also prospered in tandem with Singapore and keeps, government keeps religion separate from politics. MPs, ministers and all government agents do not invoke their religious faith to support the argument. So that's, that's, a, that's a clear cut example. And while religious group practice their faith freely, none of them or their representative is allowed to interfere with the functioning of the government. Unlike other countries I know, I lived in Ceylon, for example, that is controlled by groups, religious groups, religious ideologies. It's a religious country, but Singapore is a secular government and secular country, that's, that's fair. That time, I think it's 33, there was a big debate who a Singaporean is. And I remember Lee Kuan Yew, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew was saying a Singaporean is one who knows what it takes to be a Singaporean, the instinct of being a Singaporean. So it can come from born and bred, lucky, or it can come from outsiders. If they come in here and say, okay, I want to be a Singaporean and behave like one, that perfectly okay. So that, that, at that time, the context in which I wrote was big debate going on who should be a Singaporean or how to define a Singaporean. It's only 50 years, very difficult to define who a Singaporean is. Maybe in, in, in 300 years time, somebody will say, okay, this, 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 you can identify Singaporean, but now it's mixed. The Chinese there, Malays, it's not an Indian country, Chinese country or Malay country, it's a, a Singaporean's country, run by a secular government by circular people and uh, that's it, that's why I like it.